I, in the saga of me blogging about gays in space, I present to thee the 2021 sci-fi gays in space, the darkness outside us. Um, again, I saw this on TikTok. Don't judge me. Here we go. I'm going to vlog it. You'll get my reactions. Okay, so I'm not very far in. Um, I love the way that this is being formatted and written. It's very much... So the whole thing is... Um, our main protagonist is, like, traveling to a different, um, to a moon of, I think, Jupiter, but I don't remember, to save his sister, um, who, she is, like, a world-renowned scientist, but something went wrong on the mission, so now he is the backup mission being sent, um, and I just really, really fucking love the way it's, like, it's very, um, oh, not Arrival, what's the one with... The one with Jennifer Lawrence, um, and she's, like, in space with the other dude that wakes her up, and she's like, what the fuck? It's very much that vibe in that, except it's one person, um, and he is, like, in the ship alone with this computer who, um, is, like, it's the ship's operating system, but the ship's operating system has, like programmed itself to take a voice that is most comforting to him which is his mother's and it's it's so good i just the banter is so good and i just i love everything and it makes me fucking happy okay so reveal he is not alone there is a second half of the trip um and there is a door that is there um, that he's not able to open because it, like, leads to the second half of the ship, and, um, there is another space boy, who I am assuming is a space gay, um, who lives, um, trademark, um, who, who lives, um, who, like, they, uh, he's supposed to help him on this mission when they get to, like, asteroids and shit, although I'm not exactly sure what's happening with the asteroids, because I didn't fully <laughs> comprehend that, but he's supposed to help him, but they don't know each other, um, and this door that separates them can only be opened if they both consent to the door being opened. Otherwise, the operating system won't open it if it's only one of them. Um, which is just giving me an entire, like, forbidden love separated by a wall. Like, ah, uh, there's no romance happening yet. They haven't even met each other and I'm already so into this. I'll be back. <laughs> Update, they've met for dinner, and it was the funniest fucking, like, confrontation I've ever seen. I'm so here for this, enemies to love. Well, one of them is enemies to lovers, the other side of it is just, like, hot dude to lover. I'm so here for this. Also, this operating system is my favorite character I've read in a very long time. <laughs> this robot is so fucking sassy. <laughs> Okay, hello friends. Um, I didn't vlog any yesterday. Um, I read like a hundred pages, but it was all at work, so I didn't really get to vlog it. Um, I have thoughts. Firstly, who knew a radiation chamber could be so hot? Secondly, I knew this was gaze in space. I did not realize this was gaze in smutty space. I'm so happy. Um, thirdly, this AI, the OS, the robot, is winning my heart. There's this whole conversation where he's like, the one thing that humans always get wrong in post-apocalyptic movies is the fact that AIs want to dominate. We have the need, to, the urge to dominate has been ingrained in humans over thousands of years of evolution, and since we don't have those years of evolution, we wish nothing but to serve. I prefer AI written fiction. Isn't that cute? It, I'm so happy. Anyway, I'm gonna read a little bit more before I go to work, but I thought I'd check in. Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, had a day at work. Um, got to read a little bit, didn't read much. Now I'm, though, I'm reading, and it's, it's, oh, Their little date night is so cute. Oh my god, this is such a good fucking 
fuck. I'm obsessed. Also, this scar is so funny. Also, Kodiak is just so cute. I love this man. Anyway, I'll check back in a bit. Hello, we're back. I read last night until I fell asleep. I'm gonna finish this book today, I promise. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but something quite fucked up has happened. Oh, my, my tattoo is showing. Um, I, I got a tattoo. Well, I had a tattoo oh, already, but I got my tattoo tattooed up. I got the color redone. Okay, I mean, I'll show you later because it's under the saran wrap, so it's probably... I know that's not the technical term for it. I don't care. It feels like my tit is under saran wrap. Anyway, um, so we've definitely entered a timey thing, some sort of time travely thing, something happening. Um, there's also like their memory is being fucked with in a way. Um, and that, like, for example, we know that at the beginning of it, neither of them can remember the launch. Um, so that's fun. Um, this book, I'm not gonna tell you why they can't remember the launch, but I just found out why they can't remember the launch. And I am crying on a club on a Thursday, on a club. I'm crying on the club. I'm crying in a club on a Thursday. Um, I just, oh, oh. I did not expect to be this emotional about gays in space, but I am. I'll check back in a bit. You guys, I have to go to work now. But this book is devastating. <laughs> oh my god. I am <laughs> feeling so many things right now. It is not even 10 a.m. on a Thursday yet, and I'm crying. It's fine. I'm about to go read this shit at work and cry at my desk. Let's do it. Okay, hello. I am back. I do not know how to tell you what I am feeling right now. But let me tell you what. It is devastation. Elation. Other shun words. Perhaps inflation. I don't know. Um, yeah, um, space gazer. Sad space gaze, apparently. Um, I, um, oh my goodness. It's so good so good um i don't know how the science behind this works but um usually sci-fi like this doesn't always work for me unless it's in a comic book but it doesn't work in a in a in a book book uh it's working it's working um the romance is hot um surprisingly tame smart but still smart um uh, we got all kinds of, so it's not, it's time travel, but not time travel in the way you would think. Um, and there's other sci-fi trick going on, um, the, this, the, just, just stuff, um, with their memories and stuff that I will not tell you what it is, but it's damn good. It's damn good. Isn't that right, Stormy? Isn't that right? She's like, I'm asleep. You dumbass. Anyway. Um. I'm almost done. I'll check back in the end or if I have something to cry about. Anyway. Read this fucking book so that I'm not alone in this pain. Oh, fuck. I'm not even done yet, you guys. I don't know how to. Oh, fuck. Shit. Mmm. Shit. I need you to read this so that I'm not alone in this. Holy shit. I don't know how to explain what I'm crying about. I don't, it's just, I don't. Ugh. I'll try when I finish the book. I, I finished. Um, yeah, this is, without spoilers, one of the most beautiful explorations of all of the different ways a relationship can take its course with two people. 
and it's set in sci-fi space craziness with gays. And that's all I can tell you, except that it is five stars. You should read it. Um, I wish I could talk more spoilers, but this is a new release, so I really can't do that. Oh, please, if you have read this book, DM me. Because we I need to talk about this book to people. Oh my god, it's so good. Um holy shit. Um I am going to go to bed to process this. Um but yeah, um I guess if you want more chaotic bisexual content, um hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can get my videos whenever I decide to post them. Um Thanks for sticking around and helping out. This has been the bye book boy. And I am saying bye.